Hello and welcome to my world. I'm so excited to see you because I'm about to start the tiny farm project. And what do I mean by that? Well, during the course of this hardcore world, I built a number of big and productive farms and also some quite complicated redstone projects. For example, this storage system. It is so, so useful. However, I'm still lacking a lot of more simple and essential farms, but I left all this empty space right under my house and I'm gonna fill it up with some very easy and hopefully luck friendly farms. In fact, they will be so simple, I will not use somebody else's tutorials. I will try to build them all myself. And if you want to build it yourself, you can follow me along. I will make easy to follow tutorial. This will be like mini series within my Minecraft hardcore series. So look out for next videos as well. And I will fill up all of these levels with different tiny farms. Anyway, I'm speaking so much. Why don't we start? Today I'm gonna build two in one farm, flower and honey or more precise flowers honey bottles and honeycombs so for flower part i will use flowers that grow two blocks tall this includes rose bushes peonies lilacs and sunflowers and the flowers that are produced from this farm can be used for dyes this way we will get red pink magenta and yellow colors the principle for producing these flowers is very simple you bone mill it and you get a flower so since making this system is so so easy i had an idea these love flowers and i need honey so i decided to make this two in one farm so as always we start from collection system that's like every farm ever i decided to use barrels because well they look quite nice and i think they're a bit luck friendlier than chests at least I hope so, correct me if I'm wrong. Then you put hopper feeding into the chest. On top of the hopper you have to put hopper minecart, that's why I'm putting these rails. Then I put minecart on top and afterwards remove the rails. Now we need to push grass block into these minecraft hoppers. We have to do this because hopper cannot pick up items that are above one block, but minecraft hoppers will do it much more effectively. In order to push it in, just put piston just like that and use lever or button to push it in. You can kind of see the shadow from the minecart there, that's why I prefer to cover it. Now we can place the flowers. Unfortunately, now I have only two flowers out of four, so temporarily I will place rose bushes. I need to go for some little adventure to find all of them. Well, it's not a problem, isn't it? I like exploring in Minecraft, so look forward. So now I will actually start from making bee farm specifically honeycomb so beehives will be located on the lower part right behind the flower imagine this block of diorite is a beehive first put the observer looking into the beehive just like that this observer will detect when the honey level in the beehive changes and trigger the system in this case it will trigger a dispenser that will look into beehive just like that observer detects changes and sends signal to the dispenser. This dispenser must be filled with a lot of shears and of course refilled from time to time. In order to trigger the dispenser we have to put second observer just like that so it will observe the first observer. But that's not it, we just need to add one small redstone right over here. So now whenever something changes in this block it triggers. You saw that? Redstone blinked. Look! Yeah, just fill up dispenser with shears and it's done. So now for the top part of the bush we need to create system that will bone mill the flower. For that we place dispenser aiming right into the flower, um, not like that, just like that, yep. Then we build observer looking right into the dispenser and then you place one redstone dust on top of the observer. That's how it looks from the front. Now you need to place just one block above the flower so the bees don't escape. I use sea lanterns for light. Then you put another block on top, some sort of solid block. And then you place lever on top. Then you activate it. And that's how it should look right now. If I click the lever one more time, it will trigger the system. And dispenser will be activating, which will trigger the observer, which will trigger the dispenser. So if there is a bone mill in the dispenser, it will very fast bone mill the flower and produce a lot, a lot of flowers for dice or decorations. For extra big projects, I recommend placing the hopper feeding into the dispenser and some sort of chest. That way you can fill up with lots of bone meal and have lots of flowers. 
I will put this honeycomb system for two of the flowers in the center. For the two flowers on the side, I will build honey bottle flower farm. So for honey bottles, instead of having the observer, you place redstone comparator just like that. The comparator will detect the honey level in the beehive and produce a signal of that strength. When the beehive is full of honey and ready to be harvested, it has a strength of 5. So if you place dispenser looking into the beehive, we need to make a path of 5 redstones going into the dispenser. So when it's ready, the honey will be harvested. So for example, just like that. Now it's 5 away. Because farm will use a lot of bottles, it's a good idea to have some refill system. Also for collection, there should be a hopper right under the beehive. And on the second thought, I change the configuration of the redstone. If you place it like that, it will occupy less space and it still has a distance of 5. So now the farm is ready and now I just need to place beehives inside. I install the texture park that shows how many bees are inside a beehive. It's just simpler that way. So make sure you put full beehive so it works as fast as possible. Now that I've placed these beehives, it will start producing while I repeat the system for the two other flowers. Of course, don't forget to fill it up with bottles. I don't have so many right now. I have to work on my glass supply. Probably buy a bunch from villagers. So let me show you really fast how it works with producing flowers. So if I put some bone meal here and press this lever, there. Yeah, I put way too little of the bone meal. I need to make bone meal farm. That's project for tomorrow. And you can see there is already some honey bottles. So I will put this rose bushes temporarily and I have to go and find sunflowers and lilacs. But otherwise the farm is ready and functioning. I just need to decorate it a little bit. Hello, it's me from the future. I built bunch of farms at home and now I have time to go for an adventure and find my flowers. And look, I found lilac. I really like how they look. I think they are one of my favorite flowers. Apparently it's not the first time I hold them, but I just couldn't find it back at home. Very weird. But finding sunflower was much, much harder. You can find sunflowers only on sunflower plains and it's quite rare. Maybe not the most rare biome, but it's still very challenging to find. You have no idea how happy I am to find it. Now I can complete my farm. So let's replace this one. Oh no! Oh no! I completely forgot! Sunflowers, they, they always face east and my farm faces south. It means the sunflower will always look that direction. What have I done? It's too late to move this farm anywhere. Unfortunately, it has to stay that way. So learn from me. Please build it different direction. <laughs> if you don't want to have farm looking like that. Well, I mean, it looks into the side. It's not too bad. At least it's not looking totally different direction. That would be the worst. But otherwise, the farm is working. And it's working pretty nice. It's not the most productive honey farm, but it's located at my spawn island, at my home. I'm gonna spend here a lot of time, so over time it will accumulate. I will have so, so much stuff without thinking too much about it. So if you want to build this farm, I have included a really small tutorial for you. So follow along and don't forget to like this video if it was useful for you. Leave a comment if you want to see any specific tiny farm build and also subscribe.
because in my next videos I will build more small farms. Thank you so much for watching, so until the next time, bye!